What is up guys, it's Chintan here once again. So, if you have been following me recently, you'd know I showed how we can use cycle GANs for image style transfer. And using that, we can convert something like Fortnite and make it look like PUBG. Today, I'll be showing how we can use the same algorithm to make GTA graphics look photorealistic. And I also want to share something which I think is potentially going to change how graphics will be developed in the future. If you are interested, let's take a deeper look. In this project, I have taken screenshots of the game GTA as our domain which we want to convert into something photorealistic. The target domain comes from the cityscapes dataset that represent the real world, which we aim to make our game look like. Based on about 3 days of training for about 100 epochs, the CycleGen model seems to do a very nice job of adapting GTA to the real world domain. I really like how the smaller details are not lost in this translation and the image retains its sharpness even at such a low resolution. Too bad then that this neural network turned out to be quite materialistic as it hallucinates a Mercedes logo everywhere, ruining the almost perfect conversion from GTA to real world. Now, while this approach may seem very promising in improving game graphics, I do not think the real potential here is in following this pipeline. By that, I mean it seems impractical to render such highly detailed image and then converting it to something else. Wouldn't it be better to simply synthesize a similar quality image but with much lesser time and effort? I think the real potential lies in rendering objects with low details and letting the neural net synthesize the final image from this rendering. So, based on the semantic labels available in the Cityscapes dataset, I segmented objects in a screenshot of GTA. Consider this as a game rendering only few objects like the road, car, houses, sky, etc. without designing them in detail. Let's see what quality of final images can be generated from such low detailed semantic maps using cycle GANs. Here are a few examples of how it looks like when we recreate GTA graphics from semantic maps. It seems like a good conversion from far away, but looking closely it's quite obvious that the image is fake. Note that I have not created these maps by hand. That seemed really tedious, so I simply let another cycle gun model do it. Now, these results are on a GPU with 8 gigs of memory, but the authors have shown it is possible to create a much detailed 2048 cross 1024 image using a GPU with over 24 GB of memory. And it looks pretty darn convincing. I'm sure in a few years, this will revolutionize how game graphics are generated. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And you know the drill. If you like, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again soon.